My name's Margaret Connard. I live in Dempster. I've lived there for 60 years. And um, I used to live in Little Cowan, but only for about 19 years of my life. So um, when I lived in Little Cowan, I went and did the hot pick in then. So, um, okay, so we're going to talk about your experiences with hot picking. Mm -hmm. So, what age were you around? I was probably about 13 or 14. <clears throat> uh, my friend um, who lived in Olinswick, her father had the hop farm. And so we went to school together. So when it was holiday time, we used to go hop picking then because my father told me if I wanted any money, I had to get and earn some. So that was that. <clears throat> Okay, so you brought us some things in to have a look at. Can yeah. you just talk us through, do you want to talk us through the, the booklets first of all? Well, the, 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 book, the, the booklets are, are the recording books from when they did the hot bushelling. And I went to see Mike Mess shortly after I started this. And um, he said, well, I've got your name in two of my books, which uh, actually my name was Margaret Hyde then. These, these are the, the Brian's Hot Pickers measuring, Measurer's Account Books. And there is a list of everybody's name in here. And my name happens to be in, both of the, in two of them. And on this one, I, won, I earned £2.10 shillings and tuppence. And on this one, it took me about 18 days to earn nine shillings, nine pounds and six shillings. These are the Brian's hop, picker, hop Measurer's Account Books, where they recorded everybody's bushels every day. Um, and when I went to see Mike Mess, he found me these, loaned me these books, and he said he's got my name in two of them. So um, on this one, um, in about five days, I earned ten pound, uh, two pounds, ten shillings and tuppence. And on this one, in about 18 days, I won, I earned uh, nine pounds, six shillings. So I was very rich at the end of all that. So we've got some booklets here on the table. Can you just talk us through where you were and, and what, what they're about? Well, I went to do hot picking at Messi's farm, um, Bob Messi's farm in Ellingswick, which was actually um, at the Pullen farm. And, um, Shortly after I was talking to uh, Marsha and Julia, I went to see Bob Messi's son, who lives at the Wilden Farm. And he said, I've got some books with your with your, uh, recording of how many bushels you picked with your name in. So on this one, I've earned two pound, 10 shillings and sixpence in, in about what, what, five or six days. And in this one, I've had nine pounds, six shillings in about 18 days. So it was a lot of very good pay <laughs> because it was about one and six a bushel, I think, if I remember rightly. And uh, I used to ride my bike down there about two and a half miles and get down there early in the morning. Uh, well, it was early for me, possibly. And um, then we'd pick all day and um, I, I usually went back to the house because um, the daughter was my friend. I see. Right. Are the shoes being picked up? The, cr the cricket in the shoes. Are you all right? Oh, right. Right. Yeah, it was squeaking. That's all right. That's all right. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Margaret. Um, so do you have, uh, out of all of your, your memories about hot picking, do you have any memories that particularly like, stick out for you as being um, nice memories? It was all nice memories, really. Um, they were very happy people. A lot of people came from Dudley, and a lot of people were local people. And uh, my father used to go and fetch the, all the, the boxes, the pelt pickers' boxes, because they lived in the buildings. And he, he used to take, take this lorry, which was his American GMC lorry, up to Dudley and pick up all the boxes. There was all the preparation of, of getting the, the cribs and everything ready and getting the building ready for the hop pickers to live in. And my father used to go to Dudley um, at the beginning and uh, with this GMC lorry 
and pick up all their boxes and all their goods and chattels. They used to bring the dogs and all, and the children. And um, they were all um, very friendly and you had lots of lots of fun with the fire outside and cooking some old some old junk I don't know what it was really and um, singing songs and and those people came back every year yeah so did you continue friendships that you made at the time like um, years not not with many of those uh, the people that lived in Ullinswick I've known for years um, because I used to go to dances in Ullinswick and um, so I've known those people for many years but the Dudley people I didn't really have any contact with any other time, no. So you can, uh, do you want to take us through some of the photographs that you've, you've got? And well, what's shortly after I met um, Julia and the rest of the company I went to see Mike Mess who actually still lives in Wilden Farm where they first started hot picking in Arlinswick and he loaned me these photographs and that is a, a hop yard where they had the poles and um, that is his dad with a hop yard with the poles and this is just a wire hop yard as they later developed to and then um, this one shows the crib, which they made beforehand, made so many when they knew how many people were coming. And sometimes they were divided in two if you didn't get on very quickly. And they always had the, the three-legged three stool to sit on as well. And um, this picture, Mike tells me that all those people are over 80. I don't know who they were, but he says they were all over 80. They used to come and... And then um, the bushler did the bushling, and um, there's, that's the bushler and his basket. And however many hops you picked, you cleaned them all out first before they came and lifted them all up to make them, make them light so he didn't put too many in the basket. And then when, when he'd done that, uh, I was told, Mike told me, that they put the, the, the bushler in the crib. And that on there is his foot where they're just throwing him down in the crib. And that is just a picture of the hot pockets going away to be stored. Um, the, the actual hot picking, um, it, was, it was very, very rough. Major hands and arms very sore. And if it rained, it would sting like mad. And so, and it stained your hands. Your hands were always black, and the the smell was very strong. But um, other than that, it washed off, didn't it? So it wasn't a problem, really. I think being out in the air did you good, really. Yes. <laughs> These are the other hop yards with the with the poles, which they were before the wire hop yards, and that is actually at the Wilden Farm in Ellinswick. This one is a later date of a wire uh, hop yard. <clears throat> this is the crib with the three-legged stool. And this is the crib with all the people that are over 80 years old. And the man doing the bushling with the bushel basket. And um, Mr. Mess used to do the bushling usually, and he he had just a, a set way of doing it by scooping it in. I think it was three times, running his hand, the back of his hand, round the inside of the basket, and they would all weigh virtually exactly the same same weight. And this one, after the last bushel, they would put Mr. Mess in the crib, which it shows his foot here somewhere being thrown in the crib and that's just a photograph of the of the hot pockets being taken away to storage that's fantastic <coughs> yeah yeah and this one is is the lorry that fetched all the hot pickers boxes from dudley the lorry belonged to my father and it was a gmc american lorry 